I know you have heard the word oral N before. Hmm. Yes, the most beautiful woman of Jannah. When men hear this name, they feel happy, excited, you know, they're just this oxytocin or what do they call it, adrenaline is just full in their body that the most beautiful woman of Jannah is for them. And when women hear this word, we feel curious, sometimes jealous. <laughs> you know, we just wonder like how beautiful are they, this and that. But what I want to tell you today is that do you know you can be beautiful, more beautiful, <laughs> more better than the host of Jannah? I will tell you how or why. Hosts of Jannah have never even made one to do to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whereas you, you're on this earth, you have prayed salah, you have fasted, you have, you know, probably gone to Hajj, you have done a lot of ibadah, the Hajjud, you've abided by the rule of Allah, even amidst all the temptation of this dunya, you stick to, you know, Allah's words. You, you're wearing your hijab, you're covering from head to toe, and eventually, if you can attain Jannah, with passing through all these tests, then you eventually attain Jannah. Subhanallah, you will be better than Oral Ain. Because, I mean, you are in Jannah as well. You will be beautiful as them as well, one. Number two, you have witnessed, um, experienced this earth, you know. Having to come to this earth, going through this test of this dunya, passing through the test of Yom al Qiyamah, Passing through it and going into Jannah, subhanAllah, you are better and much more better and much more beautiful than Hural Ain. Now you know what you should do. Keep doing, keep striving for Jannah so that you can be better and more beautiful than the host of Jannah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.